Here are some tips to practice In May by Franz Baer. It is a little bit challenging because you have your hands going in contrary motion, not in the parallel motion. And sometimes you're playing, um, outlining different triads in the left and right hand. So let's talk about the second system of this piece where you have a lot of my students have trouble with this regardless of if they're teenagers or adults um, so this is how I would practice this section we're going to take one measure at a time so second system first measure I'm just going to play that through about three times Then what I'm going to do is go to the first beat of the second measure. Making sure we're crossing that measure line and connecting those two ideas. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, now what I'm going to do is play those first two measures of the second system together nice and slowly. Slow practice is key. Do it two more times. One more time. Okay. So now, first and third system are exactly the same, and most of my students don't have a problem with that. We're going to go to the fourth system because now we have in the left hand, in the first two measures, we have a C sus4, that's C, F, and G. And then in the second measure we have C, F, A, that's an F major triad in second inversion. While we're just outlining a pentascale on the right hand. Or at least an ascending C major pentascale. So again, we're going to do it one measure at a time to make sure it's getting under our fingers and make sure we're not getting frustrated and that we understand what we're playing and we're comfortable with it. So first measure by itself. Two more times. One more time. Now we're going to do that again. Just cross the measure line and play the first beat of the next measure. One more time. One more time. Okay, now we're going to put those two measures together. Okay, do it two more times. One more time. Okay, now we're going to cross into the third measure one beat. Okay, so here we go. Okay, do it two more times. So into the third measure, first beat. One more time. Oops, and if we make a mistake like I just did, we're going to go back and repeat it again. Okay, and one more time. Okay, now we're going to play through all four measures because this is easier material than playing the first two measures. So here we go. So the key here is slow and deliberate practice. And I recounted to one of my students today how I saw a squirrel eating a Pop-Tart, and the squirrel wasn't shoving the whole thing in its mouth, it was nibbling, nibbling, nibbling. So when you practice pieces like this, where you find difficult areas or things that are frustrating or don't make sense, or your hands aren't grasping it, one measure at a time, take it one measure at a time, repeat it a few times. This takes a few minutes, and you'll see how quickly you advance when, we, when you slow down and you break things down into little manageable sections. So practice hard, and I will see you in the next video.